Welcome to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with No One Survived. Let's get to it. Right, so where we last left off, we were uh, trying to figure out the building system. Uh, now, this is my first run through with the game, uh, other than me playing it um, the first time where I wasn't doing the building system at all. But now I'm just trying to figure it out. I, I kind of assumed that it would be like most typical building games where you can kind of snap pieces everywhere and then come back and add the resources. Um, which I kind of did that for the first couple foundation pieces. But now I'm getting a lot of red, which tells me that there is not a lot of support for what I'm trying to put down. Um, or I could be standing in the zone where I'm trying to place something down. So um, this is a lot of trial and error. Uh, you'll later figure out and I will figure out as well that you really need to have uh, foundation support pillars or columns as they call it in the game uh, preferably ones that are tall enough to uh, reach a wall height so um, I'm gonna go through here I'm gonna mess around eventually I'll figure it out but kind of look and see what I'm doing and learn from my mistakes don't repeat what I'm doing because uh, it can be frustrating if you don't figure out the column system and the uh, pillar support system. But just don't abandon it. Uh, once you figure it out, then it all start making sense. Okay, so now that we kind of figured out the uh, building uh, structural part, as you can see from me having the walls up, I'm going to take a look at the map here and see where I'm at. Uh, I kind of like in the center of the uh, map there. I like that kind of like the four squares there, D4, D5, D6, D7. So that's kind of where I'm at now. The problem with this area is there's a lot of trees and resources to get but there's just not a lot of buildings to go through and loot so um i'm probably ultimately gonna have my final base a little bit closer to a major city probably somewhere more down that way uh, there's a huge city over there and i like to be close to sources of water um, as you can see in the bottom left of my screen i'm dealing with some thirst issues and i'm also dealing with low energy for stamina we're just going to come over here take a look this is the actual mine that we're building next to we can kind of come here to get some resources now i have to go in there to see exactly what kind of uh mining ores we can get from there but at the same time um 
it's most likely going to be guarded by a lot of zombies so i have to be careful as well um, i don't have a bed down so that could be a problem if i get killed i'm going to have to run all the way back over here to the center of the map so that's kind of a risk that i'm taking but i am curious to see what kind of resources i can get out of this mine so um so we're gonna head down there we're gonna take a quick peek um we're not gonna stay too long because uh we don't want to like take the chance of getting jumped and uh then having to run all the way back here for our stuff so looking around here um Usually the mineable items will be a little bit different color, probably a little lighter than your typical just artistic background. So we're going to kind of look and see uh, what we can get. I don't have enough materials to make a stone pickaxe because the uh, only way I'll be able to tell what I can mine is by actually smashing some of the ores. Um, Hopefully one of these boxes maybe has something in there that I can use tool wise, but I have to be on the lookout. There's a zombie there. It's coming after me. So hopefully I have enough arrows to take him out. And then I see a second one coming too. So I'm going to try to take their legs out. Make it where they're like kind of having a hard time running at me. But at the same time, I'm going to keep backing up. And as long as I have arrows, I should be okay. Okay, I don't have any more arrows, so... These guys are getting a little close, so we're going to try a little pokey poke spear action to try to keep them away from me. Um, okay, so far this is working out, but my energy level is low, so I don't have a lot of stamina to do too many back-to-back -to -back stabs. And these guys are construction workers, so maybe the hard hats are protecting them a little bit. I'm trying to put the white dot on their face because it seems like the headshots are going to take a lot more damage. But these guys are a little bit tough. And it uh, doesn't help that they're like kind of jumping up and down. Makes it hard for me to kind of aim at them. Hopefully I don't run into anything going behind me. But as you can see, my stamina level... I mean, I can get one stab in, but then it takes forever for my stamina level to go back up so I can get a second stamina, uh, stab in. So, waiting on that blue bar to fill up, which is my stamina. Okay, and he got me once. Um, the biggest thing is uh, sometimes they'll hit you and you'll become infected, and then that'll kill you pretty quick. All right, so these guys finally went down. I'm able to recover some arrows that I shot at them. And I'm going to check the body of the other guy. And I think we're going to go ahead and go back in, continue to do some exploring. We do need to get some more materials to make a pickaxe, but maybe we'll get lucky as we're looking through the different chests here and find some uh, useful tools for us to do a little bit of mining here. So I took two guys out. There shouldn't be any more coming right away at least. Oh, and there's one. Spoke too soon. So now we're going to use the gun. Usually I don't like to use this, but it's kind of a last result because the loud noise is going to draw more zombies, but hopefully this guy doesn't get any reinforcements. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm far enough away and, uh, get a little reload there. Perfect. So he's down. I can tell he's down because I got a pickup message right away, whereas sometimes you don't get that pickup message because they're still twitching and getting up to attack you. All right, so I just found a pickaxe. Perfect. So let me put that on my hot bar. That, that slot was only for knives. I got to find a slot that can actually take this tool. Okay, uh, four, five, and six are just for small one-handed weapons. So we'll try slot two, which makes me feel a little concerned because now I don't have any kind of defense. And we're going to go and hit a couple ores uh, to see. Oh, there's a hammer here. Let's see what we get out of these ores. All right, looks like we got a, some stone and a bunch of maybe aluminum. Not sure. And that one, we got some stone and a bunch of um, probably limestone. 
I'll have to check my inventory to see for sure. All right, so. All right, so that's about four ores. And we'll try one more. There we go. So we did about four or five ores. Actually, there's a couple more here. Now I'm overburdened because as you can see, I'm barely able to move. All right, so we're going to we'll see what we can get out of this one. All right. All right, so we can barely move here. Let's see if I can get to this chest. Maybe I'll offload some stuff in the chest. All right, so we got aluminum. That's what we get out of this cave. Aluminum ore. I'm going to offload some of these. Because I don't know if I can use them right now anyway. Because I don't have any way to smelt these. And then we have some limestone. Okay. So that'll come in handy in the future when we're actually making like concrete and some other things. And then we got a bunch of stone. So we'll go ahead and leave those there um, in this little box. It takes a while for the stuff to despawn. So I might be okay to leave it there. I don't know how long this stuff lasts in the, the box, but it's better than us uh, very, you know, slowly moving around being over, over, uh, encumbered so um looking at my stats they're very bad right now my stamina level is zero so i really need to have my character to sleep problem is i don't have a bag and i'm thirst my thirst level is really bad so that's going to start impacting my health eventually i'm still at 101 out of 101 health so that's not bad my food level is 39 out of 100 but my thirst level is uh pretty bad 18 out of 100 uh no stamina my dirt level 51 out of 100 at the bottom there so uh don't want to be too dirty and uh yeah we'll probably do a little bit more mining here i'm just gonna fill up that little box by the entrance and we'll see how long that those ores last in there Okay, so we got some supply crates up here. Usually those have some good things in them. Tools and stuff like that. Food. Take a look. And there we go. We got a nice iron sword there. We got an iron axe, which is better than a stone axe. Um, we have a iron machete sword. Kind of like a, a longer range melee weapon. And then we have a sledgehammer. Also a melee weapon, but it's very slow. So we can probably fit those on our hot bar somewhere, but that really takes up a lot of space for any ores. And we still have uh, our other stat issues that we're dealing with. Uh, obviously it's daytime now because the cave is starting to lighten up. Whereas you can see when it's nighttime, it's pretty dark in there. Uh, I'm gonna see how many I can pull with, uh, with this handgun here because I'm pretty much out of arrows. But meantime, we're gonna continue to check these chests out. And the goal, obviously, is to get back to my little platform that I'm working on so I can drop off some stuff because I did put down some crates, some storage boxes. Uh, but for now, we may have to use these uh, the ones here in the mining cave to hold some of my stuff. Let me take this guy out. It's a little wonky to aiming because he runs at you kind of like at a size. So you really, you really got to kind of position yourself correctly. And now I'm out of bullets. So I'm going to see if I can get out of here. But my stamina is low, so I really can't full out sprint. There we go. So I was able to take him out with arrows. Let's try using a different weapon here. Okay, take him down. And let's see. I don't know how many arrows I got, but we're going to try to take them kneecaps out. Uh, he's still getting up, though. Come on now, stay down. Dang. These guys eat up a lot of arrows. And I don't even have time to switch 
if I was thinking right, I would have took my pickaxe off and put uh, like the sword in place of it. Um, I tried to switch weapons back to my spear, and all I ended up doing was dropping whatever I was trying to put on the uh, hot bar. So uh, he's not giving me much space. There we go. So I was able to pick up the one arrow that was on the ground, take him out, but he wasn't giving me much space to maneuver and switch weapons. So um, slot one is my bow. Slot two is my pickaxe. Uh, slot three is my pistol, which I'm out of bullets for. Slot four uh, is a knife. And then I got five as a hammer. But I have to let the zombies get really close. I'm going to try to put this sword in here. We got the machete here, so maybe that'll help us a little bit. But I'm going to try to put the sword in. The problem with the sword is it looks like it's a long weapon, so it's going to need to go in slot one or two. Because uh, slot three through six seems to take only short weapons. Okay, so these are the boxes I was checking before I got uh, the attention of one of those zombies and had to run away. So we got a couple iron tools here. Um, so we're going to definitely pick those up. Uh, the game goes uh, in different classes. Uh, iron, uh, obviously stone being the lowest tier. Iron being the next one. And then after that, it, you know, it goes up to steel and, you know, for stronger weapons. So... Uh, we're only going to get like maybe some tier two type stuff here, um, maybe some stone, maybe some iron, but that's a lot better than just going with stone tools. So I'm going to jump up in here. I have a sword. I don't have any long range weapon right now. I think I'm out of uh, arrows. So this guy actually can climb up inside. I just wanted to see if he can get up there or not. We're going to try to see how we can melee this guy. Hopefully he doesn't hit us too many times. And okay, so he's down now. Here's the problem. He hit us And as you can see in the upper right. Oh, he's not dead. Okay He keeps trying to get up He is a tough one ain't he? And Hopefully I don't get hit I don't draw the attention of another one and my stamina is so low, so I can only really get like one hit on him before he recovers and tries to hit me again. Okay, so he hit me again. Now, here's the problem with this. He's attacking me. I'm low on stamina. My character is dirty, because that's why you see a little broom icon down there. And I'm thirsty. I'm starting to get hungry. And I'm infected. Now, how I know I'm infected is because in the upper right, there's a blinking red, looks like almost like a bacteria germ symbol. That means that I'm going to slowly bleed out and, and die. My health is just going to keep going down little by little. And the only way to stop that, which I found this out later in the game, is to have these antiviral um, shots. And that's pretty much the only way to turn off that... Um, that virus but otherwise that will happen either he's gonna kill me or the virus is gonna kill me so now as you can see where I started I'm way over here in E7 and I was over in that mine way in the center of the map now the good thing is they always spawn you next to a vendor you can go and talk to the vendor just to get an idea of what they're selling you can also kind of see what's around the vendor as far as resources but the sucky part is that I have to now run 
because I have no bed to respawn to, I have to run all the way back to the center of the map just to get to my body. So, um, this is, this is going to take a good chunk of the video, but Hey, at the same time, uh, we'll get to explore a little bit of the map, uh, this area in particular that I haven't looked at yet. So, uh, we're just going to keep it moving and see the sights, take the sightseeing as we go. Luckily it's daytime and, um, yeah, we got a long ways to go. Okay, so we've been running for quite a while. Uh, so this is the importance of having a bed um, down at your base because you don't want to have to keep doing this. Uh, every time you fight zombies, you get infected or you run out of stamina or whatever. 
Uh, right up ahead, we have a little uh, bandit uh, marauder encampment. So we're going to steer clear of these guys because they will start shooting at me if I get too close. Um, but yeah, that's later in the game. You can get some good resources from them. Some of them even have prisoners that you can rescue in the future of the game. So, um, as you can see, as I slow down, you hear all the bullets missing me. So, at this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a bookmark in the video. We're going to continue to keep running till we get to the spot where I die so I can pick up my loot. And I'm also curious to see how long it takes before the stuff I put in the chest despawn. So, um... Uh, really liking this game hope you are too so as usual i like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos please remember to leave a like comment and subscribe because it really helps out the channel and we will see you in the next video